Senator John Kyle, a Republican from Arizona, says he will resign at the end of the year. He was appointed to replace the late John McCain. Kyle will be saying goodbye along with several other lawmakers. Correspondent Jason Calvey tells us about a season of Senate departures. Good evening, Jason. Good evening, Wyatt. John Kyle served in the Senate alongside Senator John McCain from 1995 to 2013. He joins other colleagues who either lost their reelections or are retiring. Many made farewell speeches, including the other senator from Arizona who often sparred with President Trump. I'm filled with gratitude. Republican Jeff Flake is retiring from the Senate after one term. To say that our politics is not healthy is somewhat of an understatement. I believe that we all know well that this is not a normal time and that the threats to our democracy from within and without are real. Claire McCaskill, a Democrat from Missouri, also shared her own concern. The two-term senator lost her re-election bid. The United States Senate is no longer the world's greatest deliberative body. And everybody needs to quit saying it until we recover from this period of polarization and the fear of the political consequences of tough votes. Echoing the complaints, the longest serving Republican senator in U.S. history, Orrin Hatch of Utah. Unless we take meaningful steps to restore civility, the culture wars will push, the, uh, will push us ever closer toward national divorce. Hatch is retiring after seven terms. He helped pass the Americans with Disabilities Act, the Children's Health Insurance Program, and a 1993 law protecting people when the government threatens their religious practices. Of all of the hundreds of pieces of legislation I've passed, and I've passed a lot during my 42 years in the Senate, the one that I'm most pleased with and the one that I hope will most define my legacy is the Religious Freedom Restoration Act. Religious liberty is a fundamental freedom. It deserves the very highest protection our country can provide. Hatch is challenging Congress to find balance. I believe we can find substantial common ground on these issues that will enable us to both safeguard the ability of religious individuals to live their faith and protect LGBTQ individuals from invidious discrimination. Hatch was referring to the so-called Utah Compromise, a law in the state that attempts to protect both religious freedom and Utah residents who label themselves LGBT. But Ryan Anderson, a prominent Catholic intellectual, says the compromise is bad public policy. Ryan says it would punish many Americans who believe that we are created male and female. Wyatt? Jason, with John Kyle stepping down, who is the governor expected to appoint? Republican Governor Doug Ducey says he'll pick a replacement in the near future, but he's not saying who. One possibility is Representative Martha McSally, the Republican narrowly lost last month's election to Senator-elect Kirsten Sinema. Okay, we'll be watching to see who takes that seat. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvey reporting. Thanks, Jason.